basically I grew up a few miles away from Warncliffe Forest and uh, I think this is my 19th year riding in here so almost hit bloody double century riding in this wood um, but over the years I've filmed in here quite a lot for various different people but you always manage to come in and find a different spot or a different different little bit to film there's all, loads of stuff to go out loads of little trails to ride and it's good fun it's real technical in this wood and it's definitely helped me in my career riding mountain bikes over the years Yeah, today's been quite hard in here actually, <clears throat> it always gets really greasy every winter and uh, about a week ago it dried up a lot but today it was real wet, it rained for, rained for a couple of days and I've been slipping all over, even though the sun's out the ground's still really slick so it's been quite hard today but I think that's one of the, the good characteristics of this forest, it, it is really hard, it's technical and uh, there's a lot of slippy rocks, slippy roots which is perfect for training for World Cups. Most of the time, right now at home, it's just rank snow, wind, and rain. So we smash it out here, yeah, some sun, sea, and sand. I think this year we've done quite a lot more more downhill in the off season than like than we have in the past because the World Cup season this year is focused like a lot of the races are super technical tracks and it's going to be all down to like well a lot of it's going to be down to bike skill and time on the bike rather than like it was last year a lot of it down to fitness so focused a lot on, on riding the bikes and you know just had like, as much fun as we can this off season riding motos riding down our bikes riding our tails and just having a bit of a laugh really
Yeah, I feel pretty good. I was pretty, um, did a bit of work in the off season with some mental stuff and I think that's starting to help a lot. Uh, and just the other usual training and stuff I did last year and obviously learned a bit last year as well. So I think that's helping and just feel like I'm coming together a bit more as a rider now. So hopefully, yeah, get amongst it and get some solid top 10 results if I can and try and be a bit more consistent, which I have been this year at home, so carry that through, it'll be good. Got this helmet. Where are we? What's going on? Andrew? And you know, like, see yeah, like, yeah. 2000 and I don't know, I've been here for quite a few years. 2000, whatever. Low of the day, I sat on my notch, it was in my back pocket. It's a nectarine for you, all you foreigners. So that pissed me off. Highlight, we got to ride some bikes on the old Sea Otter downhill. Kind of a highlight, I guess. I think this is going to take over from my racing in a few years time. Head chef on the barbecue. Giving everyone salmonella. <laughs> Definitely my goal this weekend, to be honest, I, want, I really wanted to win both, it didn't quite work out in slalom last night, so it's pretty determined to make up for it today and had a really good run, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> 